You guys can do the next. No. Now, on this problem, well, you can wait until after I go through this, okay? Unless if it's an emergency, then you can next it, okay? Now, on this problem, if you guys look at this problem, we don't have an x we can factor out, do we? So we can't factor out an x. So we have a problem. So what I'd like you guys to think about, though, is we do know how to factor a problem that's similar to this when it's squared. If, it, if this was squared, um, then we could factor this out, right? You guys are familiar with factoring when it looks like this, right? Because we say, what two numbers multiply to give you negative 8, add to give you negative 7. And so we say this was x minus 8 times x plus 1. Now, what's important about factoring, what I want you guys to understand is we get factoring because remember, if you were to remultiply these back again, these give you x times x gives you x squared, negative 8 times 8 gives you negative 8. And then when we multiply the middle terms, the inner and the outer, that gives you negative 7, right? Yes. OK. So what I want you guys to understand is the first two terms that you multiply give you your first term. So instead of having x times x, x times x gives me x squared. If I want to get x to the fourth, what should I make these x's? x squared. X squared. And then if I still want to get negative 8, I'm going to keep the same numbers, negative 8 plus 1. And guess what? When you combine your middle terms, when I combine negative 8x squared and x squared, I have negative 8x squared plus 1x squared. What does that give me? What does this give me? Negative 7x squared, right? Which is your middle term. So therefore, your final answer, all you guys have to do is that's it. Done. OK? So there's two 